Good morning and welcome to Georgia and today we are joining the Georgia at War. This has always been my dumping ground for learning new modules. It seems like the DTC seems to be locked. Fuel is decent but yeah fuel is good. We'll just roll with it and check the engine power up. And we'll be taxing to the runway after releasing the brakes. Right now we have a bit of a heavy cargo here, so we'll just have to also keep a tabs on where the fuck we're supposed to be going. Also keep those brakes handy for those sharp turns. We are armed for air superiority missions, which is going to be fun, because the JF-17 is actually pretty decent in the role of air superiority, which is most likely going to be very sad indeed for some of the Hornet and Fal Viper drivers that, as of late, seems to think their planes are the only ones that should be good in such a role. The JTS, uh, the, sorry, the JF, um, in fact, let's just call it Jeff, because it seems like its new nickname has become Jeff, and instead of bitching Betty, you are going to hear a lot about Jeff's wife. Now, this is not an official name, of course, but then again, neither is a bitching Betty. Uh, but Jeff's wife is the onboard computer voice that usually drives people insane before takeoff. Now, taxing is easier than the MiG-21, but it's still a bit rusty. I mean, uh, the aircraft is very weight sensitive on the ground, so if you have a heavy load or anything that might cause inertion, you need to be careful so you have enough to just go forward, but not enough to actually propel you into the fucking wall. Now, the Jeff is a very interesting project at heart. It uh, is basically a Frankenstein plane, because it was Tracking. built... Tracking. Yeah, Tracking. there is Jeff's Tracking. wife. Tracking. Tracking. This is Jeff's wife Tracking. seeing stuff Tracking. while we're still Tracking. on the ground. Tracking. If uh, the SAM sites Tracking. are opening fire now, Tracking. we might even get the Tracking. missile warning. Uh, we have, we see on the Tracking. data link there is uh, a uh, SU-33 heading our way, but we are protected by the Patriot sites protecting this airfield. Either way, yeah. Either way, the Jeff is a bit of a Frankenstein. Uh, she, the airplane is. Essentially a mismatch of projects and parts. It began its life as a upgrade of the MiG-21 or the Chinese version of the MiG-21. The Chinese have been selling all kinds of MiG-21 models, some of them modernized to use Western equipment. And this evolved into what would become the JF-17 Thunder. Now the Thunder itself borrows a lot of design from other aircraft. The engine is from the MiG-29, the cannon is from the MiG-21, and it can carry weapons that range from Chinese export versions to uh, to uh, Western weapons. Sadly, it doesn't seem to be able to carry the uh, Sidewinder missile, even though the PL-2 missiles we have are basically Sidewinder copies, but I, I let me just be plain, just give me the goddamn AIM-9 modernized instead, so I don't have... Because while the... basically the Chinese SD-10 missile, uh, the radar guided, um, is uh, a bit controversial at the moment, because some people think they're overpowered. These people are the people who has been doing the overpower in uh, Hornets and uh, Vipers as of late. These people seem to think the SD-10 is very, very overpowered. And uh, the design team at Decca Ironworks has been 
defending this decision, basically saying that uh, we're going with the sources we have. And I'm not sure there's a right or wrong answer, but if you ask me, the AMRAM has been uh, due for a overhaul for a very for a very long time. I mean, if every new radar guided missile that comes out there, I mean the Tomcats Phoenix and now the SD-10, if every one of them outperforms the AMRAM simply because of uh, ex their mere existence, then yes, it is most likely the AMRAM that needs to be updated. Uh, I have to say that my hit proficiency with the SD-10 has been fairly high, especially against other players. I had a uh, small practice dogfight yesterday, where I managed to take down at least three kills, so there's that. Uh, I don't actually see anyone on the runway, so we should be good for the takeoff. Align ourselves on the runway, turn off now mouse wheel, nose wheel steering, and we're off. In DCS, the uh, Jeff also has some interesting features that remind you of other aircraft, and that would be that would be the uh, altitude. 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 I know. Thank you. There we go. And we are killing off the afterburner right after takeoff because we don't really need it at the moment. So let's uh, slowly gain altitude and get into a decent patrol pattern that we can use to. Tracking. 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 Okay, Tracking. we got so we got Tracking. at least one target Tracking. here. We will switch Tracking. to mode two, Tracking. which is an air combat Tracking. mode. We have the uh, SD-10 online. Radar will be taken off standby and into track while scan mode. I don't know what an FA actually is, so it's going to be interesting to see if uh, we ha are going to have big problems with this. Uh, that's interesting. The data link says it's go only tracking on 9, but uh, we are going to extend it to at least 30. Our radar is currently on 40, so we're just going to extend this again to 60. It doesn't seem like the Jeff can make up its mind if the, if the FA is uh, something to be worried about or, or not. We have uh, at least one of the aircraft, most likely the AWACS, in a holding pattern above. And I'm currently busy trying to use the radar to uh, get a lock on the FA. Of course we have several different modes on the radar here as well, so... Looks like we also have an SU-27 on the... Also, we might as well switch Master Arm to on, because when we are going to take a shot, uh, it might be... Uh, we might have to do so in... Within... Uh, yeah, short parameters. So there's a bull side mode, there's an air to ground mode, there's a actually quite a lot of stuff here, but we're gonna stick with the main air beyond visual range mode here. There we go. Oh, I, I just thought I had it on the radar, but uh, apparently we just lost the contact as we was turning. I had a yellow contact on the radar at any rate, so now, now we'll simply have to 
to see if we can reacquire whatever it was. But I, I, if I have to guess, whatever FA is, it seems to be low. So I'm going to adjust my senses to compensate for that. It could also be far away, of course. In fact, I'm gonna see if we can get a map overlay on this. There we go. Yeah, they are they are f they are further away than uh, expected. That's actually one of the nice things about the data link because it means that we can use we can basically just use the map here. Uh, oh, it's an SA6 that we have uh, beyond Krasnodar Lake. That's good to know. Uh, the Krasnodar Lake is those two in the distance there, but the SA6 seems to be beyond it. But we also have an SU-33 in this direction. So we're going to see if uh, we can't pay that one a visit instead. We're currently set on data link 30. And I think we're going to stay that way for the foreseeable future to be released. That radar to uh, scan on either higher or same altitude as ourselves. I can uh, see at least two S forty sevens on the on the data link. I don't know what that FA is, but I'm getting the impression I should stay away from it. We'll put ourselves up at around 30,000. That should be enough. Maybe even higher than that, depending on today's mood. Passing 25. Fuel status is good. It's even out at here at 28, so... Direct targets in our same We'll try the RVS method of scanning instead. Well, we're en route, route to the targets. We can see, check the F-10 map for a short... Looks like we also have a friendly F-18 that we may need to be uh, paying attention. We'll switch back to the track while scan mode. You know, at some point you just become convinced they are saying something else. I got a target 
that I had that looks like it is uh, we'll be turning ourselves over towards that one SD10 is armed and ready but that's most likely the F18 we tracking we can we can actually no the F18 is actually flying very low so that what I did there is called cheating people but it's also a thing I like to do on the servers if I can in order to prevent friendly fire. Tracking. That thing is in visual Tracking. range. Tracking. Tracking. Why Tracking. can't I see it Tracking. on the radar? Tracking. Tracking. It's Tracking. slightly Tracking. above us. Tracking. 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 It's turning towards us. Tracking. I'm thinking about Tracking. pit bulling this. Tracking. Tracking. We should be safe Tracking. with a pit bull on this. Tracking. Yeah, let's do it. Fox free. Come on. Nah, that that missile is not. Oh wait, missile is tracking the target. The pit bull is going, going, going. Looks like that was a frog foot. We also have S-27s uh, uh, on scope. We we'll better turn into those as well. So, first launch of a pit bull worked fine, as long as we don't get a warning that that was a friendly fire soon enough. I really hope that wasn't a friendly fire, because that would be very, very embarrassing. Retrim the aircraft to compensate for the missile. Looks like we actually lost the F-18. And we are heading into enemy SAM country, and that is not a good fit place to be. I think there is there is an enemy Sukhoi. Wait, there you are. Tracking? God damn it, we lost the track. Get him back. I had him on the radar. It's like, just for like a second or so. Check fuel. Fuel is good. Yeah, we're heading into enemy Sam country here. And that's a place I don't want to be. We're coming around. Get it back up there and climb. Angle of attack, 15 degrees. Passing 32 and leveling out. Lowing down a bit. Coming around.
Got a possible SU to free on the for the free on the Looks like we, if uh, I can read this correctly, we have an S-33 on top of those mountains. Might have a look look and see if we can grab it. We should be safe from uh, possible SAMs if we just follow the mountain SAM. Looks like the S-33 might actually be so far down in Sochi. And if that's the case, I'm not sure I want to chase it all the way down there. Fuel is good. Pushing back to track while scan. There, I can see at least two contrails that I had. They're higher than me, so we'll adjust set the radar to search for targets higher than me. Worst things, uh, I can probably pit bull them again, but I'm not really here to pit bull stuff. I want to actually do this the proper way, but if we can't do it any other way, then box free. Now we pit bull the shit. I mean, it it is about getting the first missile away. That's one less MiG-21 to worry about. And I think it's Buddy just shot shot us out of the sky. Yeah. I didn't think his buddy would be that close to me. So, I basically miscalculated on on that. Well, at least we got two kills, uh, but both of them was with Pitbull missiles. And I'm not really happy about it. I also wonder how the fuck I'm actually dead. Because that missile can only have killed my pilot and nothing else. Either way, do air combat, especially BBR uh, combat in the Jeff. It's actually pretty fun. Just have to make sure I do more of it. <laughs>